hi guys welcome to the channel it's another day and as always another opportunity so today's opportunity is from the united states and this is the hansen leadership institute program 2023 i'm going to guide you through the entire application process and all check it out this is the home page all right the official website for the hansen leadership institute so i will guide you through the application process and we are going to check the question and answer the fellowship and other main things so let us glance at the website so it says leadership the hli provides training in the principal practice and psychology of effective ethical and visionary leadership we also train us and fellows to be effective communicators and public speakers in the recent years we have we begun to expand our focus to gender issue in leadership as well. So this is just it: the leadership meditation, meditation, sorry, and conflict resolution, international cooperation. So let's check the vision. For it's very important to comply to their vision. So Fred J. Hansen's vision was to create a more peaceful world through international cooperation. He he desired for people from other nations to visit the United States to learn more about its culture, economy, and government. So, just a glance, at, and this is the mission the Answer Leadership Institute brings together and train future leaders from across the world in order to promote world peace and international cooperation. So, fellows around the world, you can see spreading freedom to leadership news and events so this is the free address you can check out the video when you reach the website so the link will be in the description section just check the description section for the application link to this website so before we move to the apply for application process let's see the question and answer so when you type in question and answer frequently asked questions let's check it is advisable to check the FAQ. So how do I apply? Click on the apply now button. We did this one. We are getting there shortly. Log in to create an account and begin completing the online application. Your application will not be reviewed by the selection committee until we have received the entire completed application 100% in all sections, including transcript and recommendation form. So you need transcript and recommendation form for this particular application process, and this is fully funded. All right, it is fully funded. It's going to cover everything for you. So when will the result be announced? The selection committee will be beginning review international students' applications in February, and results will be emailed to all applicants in mid to late March. All right, so that is it. And what are the relative statements? These are letters of reference written on the organizations of a letterhead from a person who knows you well all right and can explain why you are qualified applicants for the program all applicants must submit two you no know, relative statements one from an academic advisor or professor the person will be able to evaluate your english proficiency and two from a non-governmental organization or community organization with whom you have worked so these are the two things that they need and also let's go again what are the eligible requirements? This is very important. Let's check them out. For non-US students. Alright. So upper division that graduate with two years of college or university or graduate student with a professional interest in international relations, diplomacy, international economic development or related fields. Alright. And also students must be between the ages of 20 to 26 at the start of the program. So you must be within the age of 20 to 26. When it comes to age, they don't joke with the age, so I will advise you just match up with what they are requesting for. Must be must have demonstrated leadership potential outside of the classroom in the community, nation, or region. So, you know, like I always, you know, say to you guys that like community development is very important, community participation and involvement is very important. All right, have an academic advisor verifying in writing the cardinate English person, so you don't need to fail or highlight. For this particular with your academic advisor or a teacher 
then you can easily move forward. Have a valid international passport with US visa if necessary by the time of the by the time the program begins. All right, and preference will be given to those who have never visited the United States. So if you have never visited the United States, you have I can't. What if I have, what if I have been to the United States? Whoever will be given to students who have never been to the United States before. All qualified students are encouraged to apply. All right. So if you have never been to the United States, I think this is the time. Successful applicant must demonstrate leadership potential by having work outside of class in community service, another public service, or in a non-governmental organization. A combination from from short a group. Organization is required. All right. So do I need do I need a USB chat to submit an application? Let's check it out. No, you don't need a USB chat to apply for this program. If you are selected as an but as a participant, we will provide all the necessary documentation to assist you. And say assist in your USB chat application, including a letter of acceptance. All right, a letter defining our financial support. So this is fully funded, all right? A DS-29 issued by the University of San Diego and received for your paid, you know, service fee, all right? The service fee. So they will cover all things. What is the cost for attending the program? The answer is to it's fully funded, all right? It is what? Fully funded. I mean, it's a institute is fully funded by the Fred J. Hansen Foundation. This includes international fear, all right? Your flight room and board and all programmatic costs if selected the only cost to participants will be the fees in cure obtaining a passport and spend and spending money so your passport badge your and definitely you are the one supposed to you know secure your passport how do i verify my english proficiency when you submit a name and email address for your academic referee they will automatically receive an email with instructions to log in and answer a questionnaire to complete to verify your English professor. That's easy. You don't need to fail for that or the IRS. What are the dates for the 2023 program? The next date are uh, July 1st to the 23rd, 2023. So next year. So you have any further question, you can just ask them here and send them a message. So now how to apply for this particular opportunity. Now you can see this apply button. If you tap into this apply button, it's going to take you to this section, all right, at this particular page. So now we are excited to announce the chat for the 20 ANSI Leadership Institute Fellow. It's now open. You can find the application portal here. So this is the link, all right? This is the link. And the portal will close 11 30 p.m. Pacific time on January 15. The closing date, January 15, for international applicants, all right? So the 15th of January is the closing date. Please always keep note of deadlines, all right? And this is the application link. So if we tab in this link, it's going to take us to another portal again. All right. Let's wait a little. So as you can see, you have the 2020 international application and the 2023 United States application. So you are an international applicant. What you can easily do, begin accepting application. This is the day, the 9-19-2022 and the... First 15, 20, 20, 11, 30. So you just start being this apply button. Your focus must be on the international application. These are for US citizens, please. So you tap in here on the right hand, apply. All right. When you tap in, just wait a little. So these are pre qualification questions. So are you between the age of 20 to 26? With at least two years of college or university training so if you have higher national diploma you can apply if you have diploma two years you can still go ahead and apply or when they got a student you say yes on july 1st 2020 will you be 27 years old or older you said no it's because according to what they mentioned the age is 20 to 26 all right so you submit this is the first process of the application so now you are given what a chance to enter into the actual portal. All right. So now, welcome to the Ansel Leadership Institute Scholarship Application Portal. You have new applicant or first time user. Click create account. Exist if you are returning again. You forgot your password. This is for you. 
So you just click down and you see, yeah, this section create new account. So when you type in create new account, all right, create new account. All right, let's wait a little again. So while waiting, say your description. Once you create a user account and begin an application, you can save your work and it's only time to finish it. So you can easily create an account and try to arrange the necessary documents. Do not hesitate to contact us if you have any further questions. Good luck. So it is compulsory the ones with asterisk, first name, like I just enter Joseph, last name, CC, cell phone. You select your cell phone number, you select your account key from here. So if I want to select, I'll just like look for Turkey. I'm currently residing in Turkey. I'll just select Turkey. Then you can enter the number. You enter your number. All right. This is the date of birth. You tab in here again. This is the month. So 01 for January, 02 for February, and the like. So uh, uh, February, and you tab in, select the day. All right. You select the day, select the year. All right, just a second, please. All right, so you just like select the day. You select this day again, you select the year. All right, so if you tap in here, again, it's the same process. You just call to look for your date of birth here. And after which, you log in email, email format. So you just enter your email, all right? Enter a valid email, password. All right, and you confirm the same password. The password you are using here is the same one you are going to use again here. And this image verification, you just have, I'm not a robot. When you type I'm not a robot and you agree, you must tap in here also. I agree to the terms, okay, of service. Then you submit. When you submit, it's going to take you again to another um, section. This is the first one when you just try to create your portal. After which, they are going to ask you now to sending necessary document upload necessary document and all so i don't want this video to be very short do ensure to subscribe to the channel if you have not and if you have any question about the application process kindly drop the question in the comment section i'll be happy to respond as soon as i can all right so if you find this video very very educative please ensure to subscribe to this channel like this video share to others and please when subscribe turn on the bell notification icon so whenever i post a new video you will be the first to be notified all right guys thank you and see you in my next video